Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. We are back today, and listen, we just <laughs> snagged Anne yes, for another broadcast. Right she right. told a story right after the first broadcast yeah. we did. I was like, okay, we got to do so another good. one. <laughs> and it's uh, it's actually, she just made us laugh a little bit. So <laughs> something we failed to mention before. Well, let me stop for a minute. Glad you joined us. Uh, but the name of our devotion is called I Will Not Be Shaken. Ooh. It's like that house you see behind us. That, <laughs> yeah. that yeah, house is doing some shaking, yeah. let me tell you. <laughs> so, um, Anne was a nurse for how many years? 43. Oh, 43. Goodness. Retired wow. in October. And it was an OB nurse, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, for 40 of those years, I worked labor and delivery. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. But tell me now. The first time that you <laughs> delivered a baby and you oh, were yeah, shaken, yeah. Oh, you were shaking. shaking in your boots. Yeah. Tell us all about it. So, uh, yeah, I was I was just twenty, just barely oh, twenty, wow. when this woman came in. I'd only been working on my own after orientation, maybe three, four months. Wow. So, seen babies been born, never did it myself. <laughs> so oh, that's <laughs> a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's a big yeah. deal. But but she came in and. Um, she was completely dilated. She was ready to go. Baby was right on the peritoneum, and it was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this. Get my big girl panties on. Let's <laughs> right. do this. That's what we're gonna do. So, anyway, so I put on my gloves, and there we are standing, and I'm just shaking. My legs are just <laughs> show us quivering, and I was just like, oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this? And this lady looked at me, and she says, "Have you ever done this before?" And I'm like, bowled out. I just lied. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. I've done this. And she's looking at me like I'm a teenager, and I knew I looked like a teenager. But, uh, like, oh, okay. So anyway, the baby came out, and everything was well, and all. And afterwards, she said, you never did this before, have you? <laughs> no. But I knew you had, mm -hmm. so I knew it would be okay. And right. so, yeah, it all ended up okay. <laughs> wow. But, yeah. So let me ask you guys something. I know most of you, if you've lived long enough, you've been shaken. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, so when you're when you're shaken, a lot of times we hear, you know, earthquake. You think shaken. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's always unexpected. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so when things happen to you, it could be that call in the middle of the night, 3 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. that, and then mm -hmm. you start you start shaking internally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're, you're just, for that moment, you feel paralyzed and you just, like you can't move. Mm -hmm. Tell us like it was uh, the Elvis Presley thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that song that says my legs are shaking and my knees are weak. Yeah, and yeah. That, that's what happens. That's the way it was we, when I was catching that baby. Yeah, <laughs> So, but we can become like that mm. and not knowing what to do. Right. Um, Psalm 62, 1 and 2 says, Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. <laughs> Say that. Yeah. I will never. I'll never be shaken. I'll never be shaken. Never never be never. shaken. <laughs> How could he say that, Jasmine? Because when you put your full trust in God, you don't have to worry about shaking because he's got it. He will hold you still and take care of you. Uh -huh. There's that holy ease, mm -hmm. even yes. in the midst of trials. Right. Um, if you've ever experienced that, it's like a peace that comes yes. over you. And that's when you know it's God. Is when, yes. you, when you can have yes. that peace. And you're like, I should be freaking out and losing my mind right now. And yes. I feel this calmness, and it's, it's God. <laughs> it is Absolutely. God. So, um, Anne, I want you to tell us a, a time in your life when uh, you had a, a precious little one um, that you just made up your mind. I'm, you know, you weren't shaken you, you, mm -hmm. at first, but then it's like you grabbed it all back and, mm -hmm. and knew that God was in control. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Well, that would be about the, the story about Emily when Emily was born. Um, she was one who, who, I was eight months pregnant with her and a lady in church came up and she was shaking and handed me a piece of paper and said, God told me to give this to you. And on that one was that scripture, Isaiah 41, 10, wow. that said, do not look around you in terror and be dismayed for I am your God. Mm. I will be with you. I will strengthen you to difficulties. And I didn't know then that Emily had Down syndrome, but when she was born, then I was shaken. Mm. to my roots 
because okay. it was like, what do we do now? How do we right. do this? What's going to happen from there? We're going to show you a precious yes. picture. You just want to love her. Well, just want to love on her. her there. Is she precious? Adorable. <laughs> She's signing "I love you" in that picture. Oh, oh look at her hands. Look at her little yeah. hands. Wow. That is, that is precious. Wow. Yeah. Now, but then you talked about God being there for you. And right. Well, there was a lot of conjured. grief that went along with that because I didn't get what I expected. You no, know, it was child. that was my second. Was I had a son, um, but you not knowing that you're going to have a child with a disability and all of a sudden you're given this child. So mm. there was a lot of grief that went along with that. The night after she was born, um, I went and sat in the shower. I sent everybody home. <laughs> everybody go away. I got to go do, spend some time with God. Mm -hmm. So I sat in the shower and I was there whew, an hour and a half or so, <sighs> but we wrangled. God and I wrangled a lot that mm. night, just trying to bargain, trying to, mm trying to figure out what we're going to do. And when I came out, I, I pretty much was like, okay, God, this is what I got. This is how I'll do. You'll help me, and we'll go on from that. Mm. Now, she was just a little angel, though, right? She I mean, was. She was a hoot. <laughs> she, was, she was a hoot. Oh, wow. Yeah. So then um, I want us to bring in a, a, a picture here. That, yes. Well, let me tell you what happened the next okay. morning. Yes. Okay. The next morning after I'd had all that wrangling with God, I had my breakfast tray, and on the trays, they used to have on their sugar packets, there used to be oh, not yes. just the thing that says sugar, it said it had a, like, a little motivational thing on it. Oh. <laughs> so I picked up my sugar, put it in my coffee, and I read the motivational thing. And what it said on it was, if you didn't get the things you want, think about the things you didn't get that you didn't want. And it was like God had slapped me in the face and said, get a grip, Anna it's going to be good. Oh, and wow. so, yeah, I mean, just those little things that he tells me here or there that you just, I didn't have to go to church for that. <laughs> he just communicated <laughs> on a sugar packet. Isn't that something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that something? Well, I like what you said. Just get a grip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jasmine, would you just yes. get a grip on her? Yes. Just, I yeah. Know. <laughs> because what he's saying, if you're shaking, mm -hmm. if you're shaking in your boots, Get a grip. Get a grip. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this is what 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 says. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I didn't mm -hmm. think about that till just now. The labor you went through even having oh, Emily. Yes. Literally, yeah. It was not yeah. in vain, no. was it? No. How she added to your life. Mm. Uh, now, we, we know that her... By your story, her life was taken at uh, age 13. She was 16. So oh, she 16, died. I'm sorry. So you, got, you well, were able to have her for 16, 16 years. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, she had added to your life, mm -hmm. didn't she? Oh, she changed my perspective. God used mm -hmm. her to change my perspective about a lot of things, about what is a bad thing, what is a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is depends on your perspective. Yes. And a lot of times it depends on how far away from the incident you are. So yeah, that, that was a big thing that God used her for. Well, it's changing the way I see things. I want you to explain oh. this picture if you will. Okay. So. I want you to take a look at, at Emily's yeah. face. The big surprise. Now tell us, yeah. tell us about this. Okay, so I went, Emily um, went to camp for several years during the summer. And this, we took a picture of her. Was she didn't her? know we were coming. Oh. She was completely surprised we oh. were coming. And when I look at that picture, I just know that when I get to heaven, that's what <laughs> oh, the yeah. is going to be doing. Oh. She's going to look at me and go, oh, my God, you're here wow. again. This is waiting. <laughs> and one of the best things about Emily is I, there wasn't anybody ever that loved me the way Emily did. She yes. is completely, completely just, just pure love, right? Pure yes. love, she was. Yes. But the thing was, she would introduce me to people, even people I knew. <laughs> it didn't matter where. Tell and me how she, she would, did it. She would go, that's my mom. <laughs> it was, oh. That make you feel good. <laughs> so my son was working at a restaurant, and they were having their open house. And so they were allowed to bring their families to the very first dinner that they were having there. <laughs> and so Ray and I were married at the time. And so we went, and Emily went, and then her dad went. And so we were there already, 
and when her dad walked in the door, she just ran to him, uh -huh. ran to him, grabbed his hand, brought him over to us, and he, she said, that's my mom. <laughs> I love that. You know, uh, our our niece, I have a niece that has Down syndrome. Yeah. She's in her 30s now, and she's just our angel. And, <laughs> but she will introduce herself. She'll say, I'm Kim's daughter. <laughs> oh, I'm Kim, which is yeah. my sister's daughter. Right. She, I'm Kim's daughter. And she, I mean, she, it's, it is a production. You know, so <laughs> yeah. what we can learn, you know, mm. from that. Oh, and, yeah. and so it taught you, oh, yeah. even in that time, when you are shaken, get right. that get grip. grip. Hold get on to the one that's holding to on to you. That's right. The yeah. grip. <laughs> Of God, yes, yeah, the grip, grip of his God. hand, yes. Because he's holding on to me. That's Ooh. right. He's He is holding on yes. to you. Yeah. So, Anne, would you lead us in prayer mm -hmm. yeah. today? And just um, that assurance that you, I mean, you've walked through it. Yes. And, and you know what it's like for God to bring that, that calm, that, mm -hmm. you know, that peace, that overwhelming peace when you were shaken mm -hmm. because you got a grip and you got a strong mm -hmm. hold of his hand. Yeah. Father, thank you for loving us. And yes. thank you, Father, for always being with us. Your word says, I will be with you every day, even to the end of the age. Yes, and, Jesus. Father, I thank you that we have yes. that assurance. I thank you that you love us and that you'll yes. always be with us. In Jesus' name, mm. amen. amen. All right, thank you for joining us today. God loves you. We love you. <laughs> and have, have a great rest of your day. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.